Hello everyone, Mike Kruger from Weather NorCal. We got Adrian again, another presence from Morning. you from Turtle Bay. Uh, <laughs> Bayetta. 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 Okay, so we're gonna let's start with the name. I, we, well, I, we're, we're looking at a Gila monster, right? That's right. Very good. You I know, know your that. animals now. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting better. Yes. So Bayetta is a Gila monster. Gila monster. Gila monsters are one of the few truly venomous lizards in Ooh. the world, and we're lucky to have them here in the United States. Okay. I love them. They don't look super monstrous, do they? Actually, a lot of a lot of people that meet her say she's beautiful. She she's is. very colorful. I'm thinking like an like a like when I go to New Mexico and those yeah. blankets. Yeah, kind of like exactly. an Indian blanket. Yeah. Well, if you look at the coloration, they blend in really well with like the rocky areas, which okay. is where they're going to be spending a lot of their time. They spend most of their time sleeping. But the cool thing about them is that they are venomous. And venomous that animals. That is cool, I guess. That is right? really cool. Okay. I think it's cool. Right. Venomous animals inject their venom or have to bite you or sting you. Correct. Yeah. So. Gila monster venom is a little bit different. Usually when we have venom in reptiles, it's to kill their prey. Mm -hmm. But Gila monsters eat things like bird eggs and baby birds and baby mammals that you don't really have to use your venom on. And so what they found is that Gila monsters actually use their venom more for protection and also for themselves. So Gila monsters have this ability to go for a long, long time, sometimes months or even a year between meals. Can you do that? I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do that. That's pretty amazing. But if I only had some came. venom, then maybe I right? could do that, right? So to be able to do that, when they gorge themselves, they'll eat all those baby things that they find, mm -hmm. all the birds or all the eggs, and they'll gorge themselves. So they can go for a long period because in their venom is a type of protein. And that protein allows them to control their blood sugar. So their blood sugar doesn't just spike up when they eat all that food, it regulates their blood sugar. And who is that useful for? Well, I would think like people who have like diabetes. Right, or type 2 right? diabetics. Yeah. My husband's a diabetic, so okay. I appreciate these things very much. Yeah. Venom actually provides us with a lot of different medications, in fact. And so in the 90s, they realized that they had this protein that they used um, to regulate their blood sugar. And they make medications now. We synthetically make it, we no longer go milk. Um, their venom, okay. but we synthetically make it, and one of the companies is actually called Bayetta. Aha! Uh, so that's how she got it. What her a name. cool story! And they're such cool looking lizards. Yeah. And that venom, it's not necessarily really deadly to humans, but it's very painful if people okay. were to get bit. So if you ever go to Arizona where Gila monsters are found, be careful reaching into crevices. Don't try to pick up a Gila monster. They will try to protect themselves if they get grabbed. Um, they're not super aggressive. They won't go after you. You have to actually touch the Gila monster okay. for them to bite you. Um, like you are. Yeah but I'm holding her <laughs> very safe way. Yes. I've, worked, I've worked with Gila monsters for yes, about 20 I, years Yes, I would imagine so. Yes. <laughs> they're one of my favorite lizards to talk about they're because cool, they're just yeah. so cool. They're beautiful. Yeah. They're amazing. And their venom is just so unique. It really does. Because I you know I went to high school in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Oh, cool. And it really has that New Mexico, Arizona right. feel, right? Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh -huh, the deserty creature. Well, how cool is that? <laughs> I you know sometimes wish I had venom of my, now I wish I was venomous. <laughs> and had my own venom. But uh, oh. definitely a really cool story and something, always something new. Thank you so much, Adrian, and yeah. thank you, Bayeta, which is that we know the whole story behind that as well. So we will see you next time for a, another edition of Turtle Bay Wonderful World of Animals.